Hello, um, we're just down giving Gordon's people their mid-afternoon snack and um, I just wanted to, I'm begging again, I need, we have obviously with all the pandemic and everything we are, you know, using all the PPE and our gloves in particular, I mean we're using a lot more than what we were anyway, although we were using not to start with, but they have gone up like two and a half times in price and also very difficult to get and of course a box has 10 boxes in it and you know so that's a thousand gloves well we can get through those in no time here so um and also the face masks we you know they are used once and throw them away and uh again you know we, we they're very expensive come on you lot you're you stood in the metal Danny, did it. Hold on. Keep going, my man. This is your biggest you can have too. Lucky Gordon. <clears throat> so what they got today? This is just a little snack, we've just got um, cucumbers. Mm -hmm. We're still desperately trying to get weight off of Amy. I think, I think um, we're getting somewhere with that, though. It's a very, very long, long road. Getting weight off of orangutans is very, very difficult. And people think they have problems, they've got nothing in all range. And that's just because they're sort of classically a little more sedentary? Um, they have something, they have something in their metabolism that, yeah, that, that stores fat. Now, obviously they, they'll eat seasonal, seasonal fruits and vegetables, and that gives them the ability to store fat. For, for the hard, you know, for the for the lean times when, when we're out of season, and of course, you know, to make that work with, you know, with a captive sort of situation, is, is very hard work, and you really have to keep on top of it. Yeah, of course. I we don't these these chaps in the wild. Not normally they would not eat ripe food. They don't they don't harvest. They don't farm. They, you know, as soon as they see it, they'll eat it, and, and you know, so therefore the majority of the food that they eat is is very underripe, um, not ripe. I mean, very rarely do they eat ripe fruit. Well, of course, that's when all the sugar happens when it ripens. When fruit ripens, that's when all the sugar happens, and of course, that's how we want to eat our our fruit. Well, and of course, they like it as well, but. In a normal situation, they would never eat right fruit. It'd be very, very rare. Notice as well that their their coats. I'm really chuffed with their coats. They, again, it was been drying out. We're getting into summer now, and their their skin has been drying out. And they get they do they get split ends. They get all the things that the people moan about. Well, <coughs> I've started anointing them with baby oil every day, and uh, even old grumpy pants up there, old Gordon. I just I've got the spray gun. And I say, on your back, and he turns around and lets me spray oil onto his back. It is all bribery and corruption, of course. It's, it's, that's how they get their pellet feed in the morning, right? You know, and he knows it's a small price to pay. Mm -hmm. What? What you want, baby? It's all gone. It's a hopeful face there, isn't it, Amy? Well, you know, she's a really, she's a really hopeful face. And land's disappeared over to the corner there. Yeah. Very much alone there is our land. It's very typical all rain. <laughs> you know, I can relate to that. Grab your food and then clear off. Of course, all the, the animals will notice, you know, that we haven't got guests in the park. There's no, you know, there's no people coming to see them. All rain's don't really 
give a damn, you know, they're not, they're, they'll be aware of it and everything, but it, it's less of an impact on an orangutan because they, they don't, they don't, they don't bother as much. Of course, the lack of, of guests is more of an impact on the chimps and the capitans and um, other people like that who are more sociable and, uh, you know, they do play, play off the public and the, and, uh, you know, and react to them in a much uh, bigger manner than what the, than say the, for instance, the orangutans would. So yeah, I mean, really, <coughs> generally people come here and pay to come here to entertain my monkeys, which is great because you know the, the chimps in particular are, um, you know, they're, they're very, very reactionary to people and like to wind them up and you know every action to get a reaction and all that stuff. Whereas orangs just don't, don't seem to care much. Now whether how much they do inside is anybody's, <laughs> anybody's <laughs> guess. But obviously we, we, tr we treat all our animals as if they were in quarantine, um, which is our policy, you know, with foot baths and overalls and gloves. Now obviously we've ramped that right up, but we've also ramped up the, um, uh, the, less people having contact with any particular animals because you know you know and we're doing less of the like the opera and conditioning now we do the um in, you know the important stuff hang on that's very elegant <laughs> we do the <laughs> the opera and conditioning training is is sort of minimal is more of the essential things than with, with individuals that are more at high risk obviously with the two p well two chimps and um and uh, given with uh, diabetes now obviously they still need their their blood tests and their injections on a daily basis so clearly that must go on so we we've, we've sort of just minimalized all that we want to keep them familiar but you know not, not too intense yeah touch wood uh, but touch wood, but so far all our people seem to be healthy and, um, you know, our technique is, is paying off, is working so far. So with your help, hopefully we can maintain that. And um, although people are very, very generous with their donations, it's, you know, now I'm asking for something that is more sort of grown up and life saving and important. Um, you know, everything is good, but this is so important. And, you know, the, the price of the, you know, the way the prices have gone up and the way we have to use so much of this PPE equipment, assuming we can get it, is, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, you know, it could bring the park down at some point. Well, hopefully, hopefully with your help that won't happen.